Hey students, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fantastic and are having a super day. Uh, today I'm going to go through the ear with you. So this this really um, kind of ginormous and <laughs> heavy model. So we're just going to go through it part by part. Hopefully I can show you everything okay. I'm, I'm not that strong. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to start on page 205 in your manual, we're going to follow along and we're going to go through it all together. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to look at the external ear. So that is right here, so external ear. <laughs> so the first thing is the pinna, and that's just the whole external portion of the ear right here. So it's kind of what you can feel with the cartilage where you can get your ear, ear pierced. So this is the pinna, and the hole right here is your external auditory meatus that my finger is in right there. So that's everything for the external ear. So now we're going to go into the middle ear, and I'll kind of show you how you take the model part to do that. So this part right here comes off, and then we have this little guy here, and this actually comes off too. So then we can kind of put this aside. So now we've got this guy here, and you kind of know where in the model that is. So this little piece of like papery plastic right here, this is your tympanic membrane. So this is the tympanic membrane right here. And then we have our auditory ossicles, which are the three bones of the middle ear. And this one actually is this little guy that kind of looks like a stirrup. This is your stapes, and it's the smallest bone in your body. So then this one right here, and as we go through here, I'm going to tell you the numbers or letters that are on each part of the model so that when you come into lab, you can see it a little better. But Photo Booth flips it around, so even if I'm saying, oh, this is 61, and you look and say, oh, it's 91, it's really 61. You just got to trust me. So, <laughs> all right, so this one right here has a D on it, even though it looks like a B. It's a D, and that one is your incus, okay? So this one is incus. And then 34 is your malleolus. So malleolus, incus, and this little guy here is stapes, and then tympanic membrane. All right, so now we're going to go into the inner ear, and this is kind of tricky. <laughs> so we're looking into our inner ear here, and you see this kind of oval-shaped hole right here. This is the oval window, okay? And then there's a little one next to it, and it looks more like a hole when you're actually holding the model, but that is the round window. So oval window and round window. Okay, so there's that. And now we're going to talk about the bony labyrinth. And as you can see in your lab manual, there's quite a few things indented underneath that. So the bony labyrinth is all of the bone in this entire structure right here. And I'll show you. I pulled that out. It comes like right out of the top of here. So you'll see that when you kind of feel around with the model yourself. So this is the bony labyrinth. So we're going to go through it part by part. So the first thing that we have to talk about is the vestibule. So the vestibule is right here. Okay, so this area right here with these two holes is the vestibule. Now it's tricky though because this is the bony labyrinth, so this is the bony part of the vestibule, but it, if we look inside, this is considered the vestibule too, but it's not bone, so it's considered part of your membranous labyrinth. So we'll get to that in a bit, but just keep in mind that this is part of the vestibule, but not the specific part we're looking at here. So this is the vestibule right here underneath the bony labyrinth. And then we have our semicircular canals, which are these three um, canals that are in 90 degree angles to each other. So we have this one here, this one here, and this one here. The numbers for these are 48, 49, and 50. So 48, 49, and 50. So just these three tubes that kind of form 90 degree angles to one another, kind of like a U. So right there. So those are our semicircular canals. So now we're going to talk about the cochlea which is kind of cute. It looks like a little shell. So this is our cochlea right here. So we have two, excuse me, four parts of the cochlea. So this top right up here is the apex, the pointy part at the top, and the larger portion is the base. So we have the apex and the base. And now we're going to kind of peek inside of the cochlea right here. And you can see there's numbers on there. So I'll tell you those in just a second. So the one up here, which is 65, is your scala vestibuli right here. And the one below it 64 is scala tympani. So we have scala vestibuli and scala tympani. So that again is scala vestibuli is 65, scala tympani is 64. Okay, so now we're going to look at the membranous labyrinth, which is kind of this blue area here. So remember I said it's still part of the vestibule, but not the bony part. So this is what I was talking about. So I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. You see this part right here? It's got the number 59 on it. So that is called the utricle. So it's the upper part of the vestibule. And this part down here, this little pointy guy, which is 58, is the saccule. So you have your utricle and your saccule. Okay. 
You guys are doing great. So now we'll go to the next page. We have our semicircular ducts, which are the actual tubes that are filled with fluid. So those are the semicircular ducts. Okay, and that kind of is confusing because you're like, well, it's not a duct, but you have to imagine that this bony part continues over that. So this is representing the actual ducts containing fluid. So these are the semicircular ducts. And then we have our ampullae, which are in large portions of bone around the ducts. So this is ampullae, this is ampullae, and this is ampullae. So those three, they're pretty big, and they're 54, 55, and 56. So these three large portions of ampullae. And these are all in the row, so you won't confuse them with your... Um, with these guys over here, the 48, 49, and 50. So these are your ampullae right here. Okay, now we have our cochlear duct. So we're going to go back and look at our little cochlea here. And if you look really closely, you see that little blue, I hope you can see that, that light blue dot right there. That is the cochlear duct. And you can actually kind of see that on a uh, microscope. But yes, yeah, so that's the little cochlear duct right there. So then the next four things, your vestibular membrane, basilar membrane, organ of corti, and tectoral membrane, you can all see on the slides, so you can't see those on the model. So we just have two more things, two nerves. We have the vestibular nerve and the cochlear nerve. And you can see them coming off of the cochlea, co cochlea here. So this one that's labeled 69 here is your cochlear nerve. It's going up to the cochlea cochlear nerve right there, and then the one labeled 69, or excuse me, 68, going this direction is your vestibular nerve. So vestibular nerve, which is again 68, and cochlear nerve, which is 69. So that's the entire ear. So great job, guys. I hope that made sense, and I hope you have a super awesome, fantastic rest of your evening. Bye.